So when we hit 90 degrees last week, we received several emails from people upset about Excel's Colorado AC rewards program. Now, customers received this message on their smart thermostat, letting them know that their temperature was locked due to an energy emergency, and they couldn't override that lock. Well, since our story aired, we've been doing some digging and have been in close contact with Excel about these concerns. Tonight, Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen is following up with more customers who just want to be in control of their own homes. Jacqueline. What do you usually keep your thermostat at? Uh, 75. I came over here and noticed it was 80 degrees. Lisa Bledsoe says when her Greeley home hit 80 degrees last Tuesday, first she thought her air conditioner was broken and shelled out 99 bucks for a service call. They came out and the guy just turned it right on. There's nothing wrong with this. They had no control over the temp in their own home. Then she saw our story and says she confirmed Excel had used their saver switch on her AC for several hours with no warning. First it made me feel stupid and then it made me angry. Lisa's one of tens of thousands who suddenly lost control of their home temperatures in 90 degree weather during what Excel called an energy emergency. The story heating up on social media with perspectives ranging from, oh good, we're California now, to read the fine print and you signed up for it. I've never signed up for that program. I've never gotten any rewards and um, they still took control of my thermostat. Thomas Nunley saw his thermostat locked last week with no advance notification until it happened. When I called Excel, they uh, said they didn't have any supervisors on hand that could talk to me and that they would uh, get back to me, and that never happened. That's been over a week. It's a voluntary program. Following up today, Excel says customers on these load relief programs need to be aware Excel can control your AC, and that option may be used more often. Many customers tell us that's fine if they signed up for it and if they know in advance. And you need to be notified by the company. Mm -hmm as the consumer. That, that's only fair. Is Excel going to be more proactive about notification? Yeah, I think that's a terrific uh, point. And, you know, anytime we run programs like this, we're looking at opportunities to improve communications because communications is key. We want to make sure, sure people know what's happening, why that's happening, and keep them informed. Going in depth here, a lot of customers reached out to contact number seven with opinions and ideas. Dennis Barley in Lakewood says Excel offers time of use rates as well, saving energy, but he controls the temperature. Electricity is way more expensive during these peak periods between 1 and 7 p.m. I would much rather be on this than volunteer to have them turn my air conditioning off when they need to. And Excel again today. Thanks everyone who signed up for these programs. We just want to make sure that people know what they are signing right. up for. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can understand their, uh, their frustrations Absolutely. there. All right. Nice work. Thanks, Jacqueline. Thank you, Jacqueline. And we did hear from Excel today with some tips on how you can save money during these hot days. Most of them you've probably already heard about. So make sure you really take advantage of your blinds. Close them to keep the heat out. If you have a ceiling fan, use it. Excel says in the summertime, it is best to run it counterclockwise. That'll send cold air headed downward. Also, make sure the AC coils are cleaned. It helps a lot with your unit's efficiency.